What's going on guys? This is Double Pulse and welcome back to a brand a new commentary video and today I want to talk about the Steam Deck again. Talking about this issue that I think a lot of people have had, uh, it is the joystick drift. Now I do not have my hands on a Steam Deck yet. I am part of the Q2 or after Q2 crew and I really hope I get mine soon. But what I want to talk about is this issue that seemed to be rising up with the Steam Deck being with joystick drift now everybody knows that when nintendo had their whole issue with joy con drift we know that was a big deal like i think it's funny and i think it's hilarious how every every single time that uh joystick drift seems to be brought up uh we always talk about it being like oh it's joy con drift because you know nintendo is they blown that issue way out of the water with just basically ignoring it until they got into a hefty hefty lawsuit at least valve is being responsible and responding to any concerns regarding it and in this time it turns out that joystick drift is actually a bug a software glitch and coming from an article from tom's hardware basically some early users of steam decks have reported some sort of joystick drift and valve responds what the article says is in three separate posts on the topic they have been made to reddit's steam deck a dedicated forum for the new gaming pc two of them showed issues in the settings where you can test all the inputs on the in built-in controller the third shows a mouse moving largely on its own in the setting menu for civilization 6 wario 64 on twitter first highlighted some of these complaints at least one other complaint had showing the left joystick had popped up on Twitter. As of March 1st, 8.25 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Valve has said the issue has to do with calibration. The team had looked into the reports and determined there was a dead zone calibration issued introduced in the recent form firmware update. Lawrence Yang, a developer on Steam Deck, said in statement of tom's hardware we have just shipped a fix to address the problem and the team will continue to watch for reports related to this issue so i'm glad that valve is actually taking uh, action into consideration on making sure that these are software related issues and not hardware related and thank god they are something that can be fixed with software and after judging off the video and watching the video that's what it seemed like to me i mean we all know that a lot of these joysticks that come inside these uh, controllers these days are generally manufactured by the same place. For example, if you pick up a controller from PlayStation or Xbox or Switch or you know, now you're picking up the Steam Deck, you'll notice that the mechanisms on how these joysticks all work is roughly the same. So I understand why people are concerned. Um, I really hope that as of now, these issues aren't widespread. But I think it's fair to say that we should always kind of expect that the first units are always going to have that risk of having some sort of issue at launch. But anyway, I want to hear what you guys have to say in the in the comments section below have you guys experienced this issue on your steam deck are you still waiting for your steam deck because i'm still dylan and hopefully i can get my hands on it soon but if you guys like coverage like this feel free to like comment and subscribe to the channel and i will talk to you guys soon goodbye